Hey, welcome to Kali Yoga. I'm Kyle, and well done for getting to the last day of your five-day deep stretch challenge. I hope that you are feeling good in your body. And today we've got a really fun practice to round this challenge off. Today we're going to begin in a child's pose at the back of our mat. So you can make your way there, having the knees out wide, toes touching, and stretch your arms out in front of you. I'm going to take a moment just to Draw our attention in, shake off any thoughts of the day or previous day or the future. Take a deep breath in, fill the belly up. And as you exhale, release and relax. Take a moment to just connect with your breath, commit to your time on your mat. All the problems and thoughts you have will be waiting for you. But for this time, it's nice to just dedicate this space and time for you and your practice and your body and give yourself a chance to stretch and re-energize yourself. Inhale to fill. Exhale to let that all go. And inhale to tabletop ride up. Stack yourself into a nice square shape. Spread the fingers wide. Inhale, cow, low the belly. Look forward, open up to the collarbones. Exhale, cat, curl, and really lift the spine up into the ground. Belly comes up. Inhale, cow, belly goes down. Open up to the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, cat, curl, and press. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Well done. Neutral tabletop. Extend your right leg to the back of the mat. Place the foot down. And from here, you're going to inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, coming into a supported side plank with your left knee on the ground, right leg to the back. And with your exhale, extend your right arm to the front of your mat alongside your ear. And with all side extensions, you want to wrap the pinky in and peel the chest open, look up and under the right arm. And really ground down, so press through the outer edge of the right foot and stretch through the right fingers. And in these moments of stillness, you really want to focus on the breath, following it all the way in and all the way out. And release. You're going to take the right knee and gently draw it into the chest and step it out beside you on the right hand side. You can place the hands down. So we're kind of in a tabletop with the right leg out beside us, having the toes facing forward. Now, from here, you're going to reach your arms in front of you and move into a sort of puppy's pose variation. It's one of my favorite stretches. And you're going to lower either the forehead down to the ground or the chin or the chest and seeing if you can stack your hips on top of your knees. So you may need to come forward a little bit and then bring your chest down to the ground. This is a great posture for the hips and for your posture. It really does help with opening up the chest and giving yourself some more confidence in your life and more energy, opening up the mind. And again, in these still points, you can also introduce a little bit of movement with your inhale. You can shift the hips back slightly and exhale, shift them forward. It's always nice to find these little tricks that help you keep your sense of attention embodied as you move through your practice. And you can release, walk your hands underneath your shoulders and with control, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Now, you may need to readjust yourself here. Now, you're going to place the knee down. And you're going to inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, interlace them above your head as you look up. And with an exhale, gently arch back. It's called a crescent moon shape. So we're looking to create a crescent moon with our body by lowering the hips down and lifting the chest up. It's important to lift the chest up and then arch back instead of just arching back because we are looking to protect our spine. And we're looking to create a lifelong practice. And in doing so, we learn these things like lifting the chest up first for back bends, just to make sure that we are always safe and sound. Stay for one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, a prayer twist to the right hand side, left elbow outside the right knee. Create a little connection between elbow to elbow, a nice straight line, and you're going to use that to leverage off the right knee and rinse the spine out. (laughs) 
and release. Come into low lunge, place the hands, raise the back knee. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the front leg and fold towards the front foot. Two more times. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the right knee, look forward, lower the hips. Exhale, a pyramid pose, draw back on the right hip. One more time, eyes closed, long breath. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, low lunge, look forward. Exhale, prasarita to the left side, wide-legged forward fold, turn, and have your toes facing slightly in. Inhale, halfway lift to reset, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Options to stay here with your hands down on the ground, out in front of you. You can take hold of your toes, the outer edges of your feet. If you'd like to, you can interlace your hands behind your back, which is quite nice, where you squeeze your elbows together, send your hands up and over the head, working into a bit of chest here. See if you can keep the eyes closed, soften into the face, relax your jaw, relax the corners of your eyes. And often in these deep stretches, you're really working into the muscles. And the first thing the body does is to react by tensing. And then you get that sort of really sharp ache. But you want to trick your body into thinking that it's safe, which it is, by using your exhale to relax into the posture. And then slowly with your each exhale, the muscle will relax and soften, and then you'll get all the stretching you need. And release, you can place the hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the front, hands frame the right foot. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, standing L. So step off onto the right foot, raise the left leg into the sky. Light on the fingertips. Now, this is kind of the entry point for standing splits. So you want to keep your left leg nice and straight. And then have a little bend to your right knee. Ground down through the right heel. Relax the back of the neck down to the ground. And now actively send the left leg up to the sky for one deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Place the feet down and release. Heel toe your feet to hip width distance apart. Have a generous bend to the knees. Interlace the hands, place them behind your head and gently sway from left to right. So ragdoll posture, this is a great decompression for the spine. So try and imagine that you are almost hanging your spine off your hips. So you wanna bend your knees more than you think and really relax into the back of the neck. Release the hands down, heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank, lower your knees down to the ground and make your way into a tabletop position. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat, round and curl into the spine. Well done. Neutral tabletop. Now extend your left leg to the back of the mat. Place the foot down. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky, supported side plank. Ground down through the right palm, and as you exhale, extend the left arm alongside your ear. Now you're looking to really stretch along the left side, so press down through the left foot and reach out through the left fingers. Wrap your pinky in and peel yourself open, looking up and under the left shoulder. And release with control, step your left foot out beside you on the left side, feet facing forward. And then from here, we're gonna move into a puppy's pose variation, bringing your hands out in front of you and lowering your chest down to the ground. You may need to just set yourself up, so readjust yourself to a comfortable spot. And if stillness feels good, you can stay just like that, encouraging length up the spine with your inhale and deepening with your exhale. And if you'd like a little bit of movement, you can always shift your hips back and forward. Inhale back to close the posture. Sorry, inhale back to open and exhale to close. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release, walk your hands underneath your shoulders and step your left foot to the top of the mat, coming into a low lunge. You may need to reposition yourself. Inhale, reach your arms up above your head, interlace your hands, look up. 
As you exhale, gently arch back. Now remember to lower the hips forward with the exhale. And with the inhale, you want to lift the chest up and then gently arch back. Soften what can be softened. So really relax the tongue, relax the mind's eye. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, bring your hands through to pray at your heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, pray to us to the left hand side, right elbow on the outside of the left arm. You're looking for a straight line from elbow to elbow through your palms. And you're going to use that to press against the left leg and then rotate and rinse the spine out. Look up and over the left shoulder. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release low lunge, hands frame the left foot, raise the back knee. Inhale, look forward, open up the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the left leg and fold towards the left foot. Two more times, nice and slow, eyes closed. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the knee. Exhale, pyramid, draw back on the left hip. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid. And release. Inhale, low lunge. Come forward. Exhale, prasarita to the right-hand side. Wide-legged forward fold. Turn the toes slightly in. Inhale, halfway lift. Create length out the spine. And exhale, fold and deepen. Close your eyes and breathe. Often in the still postures, there's an opportunity for your mind to wander. And see if you can try and be compassionate with yourself. This is very normal, so don't get too frustrated. Just notice when it's wandered and then draw it back in. And over time, your ability to hold your attention will get stronger. But it's always important to try and not get frustrated in the beginning, especially when your mind's really busy and fast. You may have brought a whole bunch of stuff onto your mat. But just trust that when you, with the continual practice, that over time it softens and slows down. And then you'll just find yourself really just being embodied with your practice. If your hands are up, you can lower them down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Bend into the left leg. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, standing L, right leg up to the sky. Bend the standing leg and relax the back of the neck. Come light into the fingertips. Bend down and press through the left heel. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, send your right heel up to the sky. Actively send it up. Relax the back of the neck. And release, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine. Exhale, make your way down onto the ground and extend your legs out in front of you. Moving into Pachimottanasana, or east facing forward fold. You're going to start off with a bend to the legs. Get onto the front of your sitting bones. Inhale, reach your arm up to the sky. Exhale, shift the weight forward and release. Now, what I like to do here is to take hold of the outer edges of the feet or the shins. You're going to use that to create length out the spine and traction your belly down towards your thighs. So see if you can press your belly onto your thighs. And then with that connection and activation, begin to walk your sitting bones back to a nice, comfy, sweet spot. And release, inhale to roll up. And as you exhale, lower down onto the ground, moving into happy baby, sending your heels up to the sky. Options to take hold of your knees or your shins, having them out wide, or the outer blades of your feet. Take hold of the outer blades. You want to pull down with your hands and kick up with the feet to try and flatten your spine on the ground. So you're looking for a push-pull action to tuck the chin, having the legs out wide, and you can also rock your baby from left to right. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release and bring your knees in. Wrap your hands around your shins. Take a moment just to reconnect with your body. 
Inhale to fill. And exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. Take up some space. Make any last adjustments. Take a deep breath in. Fill the belly up. And as you exhale, release and relax. Well done. Now you're welcome to lay here for as long as you like. Thank you once again for putting such beautiful effort into your self-practice and all the effort into your, well, the support into this channel, actually. And if you'd like to support the channel, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down below. It's always nice to hear from you. Even just a quick namaste goes a long, long way. And I will see you here next time on your mat. Namaste.